everybody and welcome to today's video. I am doing another week in the life video. So it is Monday today. It is before I start work. It's about 7:20 ish. Um, and I am going to start with some laundry today and I'm also going to organize some more stuff. So I wanted to show you guys what we've done so far. I'm going to try and hold off on showing you guys the nursery itself so that, um, we can do like a full nursery vlog and nursery tour. Um, but I just want to show you guys some of the things that we're organizing and what we did with the office. So we decided to move the desk into here. Um, and we moved this dresser. <laughs> We move this dresser out and we'll be putting that dresser in the other room. Um, so this is Taylor's new office and I'm going to be going through this today. This has makeup and socks and hair tools. And then I'm also going to be going through some of these two things. So what I did is I pretty much just shoved random things in here. Um, and so I'm gonna go through that and then I'm gonna go through that box as well, hopefully today. So that is um, also hair stuff and then like random belts or hair flowers or those types of things. Also for this week, just to kind of give you guys a heads up. So we are gonna go to Target today and hopefully get some more stuff for the nursery. So I will do my best to vlog that. Sometimes I forget to vlog in public because I have a mask on and you can't see my face anyways. So I will try and vlog at Target. And then some other things this week, we have a wedding to go to. Um, one of my good friends from well, junior high, <laughs> um, and we'll be wearing masks to that. So I'll kind of show you that. I won't vlog at the actual wedding, but I'll vlog on our way there and on our way out. And then we also are going to get haircuts this week. So I'm gonna be getting my hair dyed and cut and Taylor's going to be getting his hair cut. We have a good friend that cuts hair. So we're gonna go out and um, see them. We're going to their house and she cuts hair in her house, which is so awesome. So anyways, we'll be showing you guys all that stuff. And then, Gosh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else this week huge. I don't think so, but I will definitely keep you guys posted um, and show you guys anything that we're doing this week. Okay, so I just had some yogurt for breakfast really quick. And I am going to go through this little Claire drawer thing. Um, and I'm going to hurry and do it before work. I have to start working in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to set the camera up and show you guys me going through this. So that is it. This is totally clean. So I have makeup up here. I have socks. I have a ton of extra socks. I love like long socks. So I'm just putting them in here because I don't wear them every day. And then this is um, starting to be postpartum stuff. Um, so that's nice to have that all set up. Break move, please. And then this bottom one is hair tools. So I'm just getting all that cleaned out and then I'm gonna see if I can grab that box from up there and go through some of my old belts hair stuff and I think there may be a little bit more makeup in there um, and then I'll be going through some other makeup and yeah. Hi everybody so today is Wednesday so I just thought I would vlog really quick and excuse me show you guys I am making some bread. I'm trying a French bread recipe that my mom gave me so I just wanted to show you guys what I've done so far for that. And then I also will show you guys a couple of things that I did yesterday. I did not vlog, which is so bad of me. I should have vlogged it for you guys. Um, but I will vlog today and show you guys some of the things that I am going through today. And then hopefully we'll be picking up the crib later tonight. So I will vlog that as well. Um, so what I've done so far for my bread, I have this bread maker. And here's my water, sugar, and salt. So... Um, Here's the recipe, let me show you the recipe. So here's the recipe if you wanna screenshot it, you can. So far I've done the water, salt, and sugar. And then I'm about to throw in the flour and the yeast and then I will put it in my bread maker um, and put it on the dough cycle, which is usually about an hour. And then I will let it rise and then I'll put it in the oven. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this yeast in. And I just put all this stuff in, in the order that the recipe asks for it, just into the little bread maker. 
which if you don't have a bread maker, I'm sure you could hand mix it or mix it in your um, KitchenAid if you have a KitchenAid. Um, but I'm just gonna okay, so I'm just gonna snap this in and then close the lid. And I think it's already on dough. Yep, and then start. I don't know if you can see that. So that will mix up the dough for an hour and three minutes. And then I'll let it rise for an hour and I'll show you guys how I normally let it rise, especially in the winter when it's colder. Um, and then we'll bake it. Okay, so I just pulled this bread out of here and it, it rose a lot, so that was kind of fun. Um, but I just have it on a floured surface. I put some oil spray, cooking oil spray in there. I'm just gonna spread it around and then I'm gonna split this into two loaves and kind of make them into a loaf. And then they're going to rise for an hour and I'll show you guys how I do that. I use a space heater to do that since it's winter. Brigadoon is here too. And then we will cook them for 15 to 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Are you my bread helper? Say yeah. Okay, so what I do is I take my uh, space heater right here and I'll put it right next to my bread. Brig, get out of there. Get out of there, go. I'll put it right here next to my bread and I will just put a clean towel over them. Um, Brig is so curious and also so protective at the same time of the bread. Um, and I just like to set them on my laundry basket. So this is kind of the setup that I have and then I will let them sit there for an hour. Hi everybody, so today is Thursday. And we went to that wedding last night. They did a drive-by wedding. And it was so cute the way that they had it. They had cute decor out still. And they had spotlights on the bride and groom. And she still got to wear her dress and everything. So that was super exciting. We were literally there for like 30 seconds. Like we drove by. I handed my gift to somebody who was wearing a mask and gloves. I said hi to them from the car. And then we left. Anyways, today is haircut day. <laughs> I'm so nervous and I'm so excited all at the same time. So... We are gonna cut my hair and we are going to fix the color and then Taylor is also getting a haircut. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've been working on. I have not been vlogging as much. I feel so bad, but I just, when I'm going through some things, it's like, I am upstairs, I am downstairs, I'm throwing things around. So <laughs> I haven't been able to vlog a ton of it, but that's totally okay. Briggs here too. Anyways, let me show you guys some of the things that I've done so far. Oh, and let me also really quickly update you guys on the bread. So the bread that I made yesterday, which you guys saw just before this clip, um, did not turn out. <laughs> so I'm making a new bread recipe. I know this one turns out I've made it into a loaf before. I've made it into one loaf and two loaves before. So I know this one works. The French bread one was just like rock solid <laughs> and not very cooked on the inside. So I don't know what I did wrong, but there, here's a better recipe and I am making this one today. So I'll show you guys that when that one comes out. Okay, and I apologize for the lighting here, but so what I did is I organized this entire closet. So I have a couple of workout items up here, like yoga stuff, sentimental blankets, and then blankets we can use, our games, and that's my um, camera tripod, and then some workout stuff. We like to leave this open because sometimes this floods, and so it causes a whole bunch of problems down here. So I just like to leave nothing down there, but this is workout stuff. So in that bin, I have just like a couple of extra workout things. And then this bag is our biking stuff. So I did that. Here is a whole bunch of stuff I need to put away. And a cute puppy. So we had a whole bunch of bags to take to the DI. And so we actually took those over to my mom because she was able to get a time at her DI. Ours was sold out for like three weeks, I think. And then there were no times after that. So she's gonna take the bags to the DI for us. Um, so we were able to clean out this closet. And I do still have one bag in here because I'm going to try and sell some of my clothes. Like some of the ones that are in really good condition. But anyway, so I've moved my boots down here. Um, and they're going to hang out under here under my coats and stuff. And then when I reorganize this, these are pillows for our upstairs couch. I just want to keep them nice because Briggs sits on the upstairs couch all the, all day long and we have couch covers. And so I don't want the pillows up there. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you is this robe. So this is a posh peanut robe. I got this for postpartum and being in the hospital and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I'll use it, but 
It is so soft and so cute. So I did get this at my aunt and uncle's baby store and I, again, will link all their baby stuff below. Um, but it is posh peanut brand and it is so pretty. Okay, so I'm in the baby's room, so I'm sorry if there's an echo. There's not a ton of stuff in here. We made some good progress. So I moved all my work stuff downstairs and we got our crib. So we're gonna build the crib probably tomorrow, hopefully. And then we got these white blackout curtains to go up over the window. We need a new rod. We did not get a long enough one. And then our rug is up here as well. So we need to cut this to the size of the rug and lay the rug out. And then this tall dresser right here will be going into mine and Taylor's room. So that's kind of all that we did up here. And then yesterday I was able to go through all of my jewelry and go through all of our bathrooms and kind of just clean and organize things. So I'll show you quick that. And then I moved some of my jewelry into here so that we could make more space in the office and just make it more simple in the office. And then I cleaned out my hair stuff and my lipsticks. And then this is all just like extra things as well. These are more like hair products that I use when I'm doing my hair. So that's why they're in here. Um, and that's pretty much it for what we organized. So that's pretty much it for what we organized. We went around and did a lot of organization. So pretty much everything has been cleaned out and gone through and everything's been sent to the DI or if you guys are not from Utah or a state nearby and don't have a DI, like a savers or like a thrift type store. So here is the recipe for the rolls and the bread that I'll show you. So I make the 15 medium butter rolls and I just do it into two loaves. And I do it the exact same as I did the other recipe, but this one will turn out better and I will show you guys that. And then there's also the recipe for the large rolls, which is 20 rolls. That is actually my bread being done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and put those in the loaves and let it rise for an hour and then throw it in the oven just like I did yesterday and hopefully they'll come out a little bit better. Okay, so here is my final bread. I've already cut some of it and put it in um, a little baggie. But you guys can see how nice that looks. I will put a picture of my other bread so you guys can see the difference. But this one's a way better recipe. I'm sorry if sometimes my vlogs are all so crazy during the week when I try and vlog. But I think it's so fun for you guys to get to see all the fun little things that I do throughout the day, especially the baby prep. So feeling so much better about nesting and those types of things and getting everything organized and like cleaned out and now we can start on the nursery and then eventually we can start like deep cleaning the house right before the baby comes but yeah i'm so excited about the nursery i'll try and keep you guys updated i may not show too much just because i do want to do like a full nursery reveal so that we can show you guys where we got everything and like the name of it in case anybody wants to get it hi everybody so today is friday i wanted to just pull out the vlog camera and show you guys my hair so I did end up going to get my hair cut last night. Um, Taylor got his hair cut as well. I have some beautiful blonde colors in here. Um, we did go for a lighter, icier blonde. And then we cut a bunch off. Like, oh my gosh. This is so crazy. But anyways, so um, let me just set up my camera. My arm is... Why am I so weak? Anyways, sorry for the weird angle. I wanted to set up my camera. Um, but anyways, so... Today is Friday, so I'm going to try and vlog quite a bit today. We are actually going to be going to Lowe's and Target, and we are going to put up the crib tonight. So we have to fix a couple holes in the walls and paint some stuff and hang up our curtains that we got. And we actually need a new curtain rod. So the one that we bought is too short. So we found one that we liked at Lowe's that is the right size. So we'll be getting that today as well. So we'll probably... I mean, we'll see if we can get the crib up tonight. It's mostly going to be fixing the holes in the walls and painting over them and then um, putting up the curtains. So we'll do that. And I'm so excited about that. I'm feeling kind of tired. So I'm just going to take the last little bit of my work day and just kind of relax and finish a couple of things for the week. And then I will pick up the camera again when we go to go to Lowe's and Target and do all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, so we went to Lowe's. And we went to Target, and I'm sorry if there's an echo, I am in the baby's room. Um, and we actually found a different bar that we like for the curtain rod, 
at Lowe's. So I will link that below in this video and in when we do the final nursery reveal. But I just thought I would show you guys this. So we got this hung. <laughs> it looks really good. And then Taylor's folding our curtains right now. They have like a little piece at the top to give it like kind of a ruffle, but this bar is bigger. So I'm gonna actually unstitch that top part. Um, could you just hold that up for a second so I can show them the... So you can see there's like two stitches here. So I'm just gonna unstitch the top one so this whole thing will go across the bar so it'll be easier to slide. And then I am going to attempt to hem these. They're very thick because they're blackout curtains because that's what we want. Next, we are going to fix this hole and paint that we got paint we got the guy to match it so that's super nice and then we will build the crib so i will vlog the us fixing these holes and i'll just do it like sped up so you guys can watch that and you're gonna cut out and you just scratch them. to go ahead and close out this vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed another week in my life this one was a longer vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed that and definitely don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment below if there's anything else you guys want to see we will be having some more fun baby content coming up so definitely stay tuned and we'll see you guys next time thanks bye